Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Charlie Sylvia with Cruise Lines International Association. I'd like to thank you all for being on today's call and welcome you. Uh, we are going to be we're actually privileged to have today Talc River Cruising to present to us. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, just a little bit of housekeeping as uh, all of the agents start hopping onto the call. Uh, please feel free at any time to ask any of your questions in the questions module of the GoToWebinar panel. And the webinar will last about approximately 30 to 35 minutes, and then after which we'll have about 10 minutes for questions and answers. And today's presenter is my new best friend. Um, we just had a wonderful conversation. Mary Murren is a 25-year industry veteran of the cruise industry and is now Tauk's cruising specialist. Now, Mary has lived and worked on the great inland waterways of Europe for 10 years as a cruise director and six of those as a cruise director with Tauk. So this is a really, really special opportunity, folks, because we're, our presenter has terrific experience both on the rivers and on the shore side. So today, Mary travels the English-speaking world, educating our agent partners and sharing Tauk's vision for extraordinary, exceptional cruising. So Mary, a warm welcome to you, and thank you so much for presenting for us today. Charlie, it is my pleasure to be with all of you, and hello to uh, all the agents who are taking time out of their busy schedules to join us today. It's, it's a delight to be here talking to you, and I want to make sure that everybody joining us today also knows that Tauk will have a presence at the upcoming Cruise 360 event, so please, um, I hope that this is just the beginning for those of you who are new to learning about Tauk. Um, we will do our best to be uh, a wonderful partner for you and to continue educating you and supplying you with supplying you with the information that you need to grow your business and become even more successful than you already are if you're an established agent. And if you're new to CLIA and new to being a travel agent, uh, we just want to give you the tools that will lead you down a path that Charlie and I and everyone at CLIA and everyone at Tauk can tell you is one of the most satisfying and rewarding careers imaginable. Tauk truly believes every single one of us. We firmly believe that how you see the world matters. And if a trip is better because there are fewer people with a higher level of service, if there is a team that has thought of everything and anticipated your needs as the agent and your client's needs as our guest, then we're moving in the right direction. We're cruising down those waterways together. And that's our goal is to create this wonderful symbiotic relationship so that you are always getting exactly what you need from us. We are providing you with the very finest opportunities, the most beautiful ships, the most wonderful ports of call, and, and that your clients will have such a great experience that they will come back time and time and time again. That is the Tauk model for success. So as National Account Manager and Cruising Specialist, as Charlie mentioned, I lived and worked on the waters of Europe, and for many, the very best of all of those years, I was with Tauk. So I can speak to you about the different personalities of the rivers. I can talk to you about the different months and the festivals that are going on and, you know, what might be occurring in Vienna in the summer and what might be happening in Paris in the fall. And um, and I can certainly talk to you about why I think Tauk River Cruising is unique in the industry and is an exceptional opportunity for your clients to explore these wonderful inland waterways, what I like to call the water, and, and they have been called through the centuries, the waterways of emperors and kings. And just imagine, as you will, what that means, crossing the continent on these majestic waterways that have, you know, sailed past the major capital cities of Europe, all these charming little villages. And what we do at Tauk is we tell the story so that history comes alive and that your clients feel like they are seamlessly a part of this amazing experience. Um, and it comes in one upfront price. So we're gonna delve into what all of those means as we go through these slides. And we're going to save some time at the end to talk about any questions that you might have. So a dedication to value. We talk a lot about what's precious to us, what we treasure at Tauk. And 
we always want to keep in mind that yes, at the end of this trip, your clients are going to come and sit down and tell you all the incredible experiences they had, all the amazing things that we belt, we bundled into that one upfront price. It'll be about their memories. But when they sit down with you at the very beginning, it's often about how much are they going to spend? What is the monetary value of this? So when we talk about a dedication to value, we are talking about the values that Tauk has been adhering to for 93 years, going back to the founding of our company, and I kind of touched base on that. We will always do the right thing. We will anticipate your guests' needs. We will exceed expectations. We'll provide the most beautiful hardware coupled with the most terrific software, which are the people and the places and the back stage access and the before hours entrance openings to major museums and private chateaus and all the things that we do that are so special. And we're going to bundle that up into a price that is always fair. So when you look at all of the things that Tauk does, all of the exceptional experiences that we're going to deliver, know that we have considered a fair price for that. So we'll never be slashing prices at the end because there's extra inventory. We'll never be inflating prices because prices went up. Like right now, the euro is very strong to the dollar. We will never be cutting any elements of a Tauk River cruise at the back end to adhere to that price. Once we price something, it remains the same. And that gives you, as our agent partners, incredible peace of mind in trusting your clients' travel dreams to us and knowing that they will never be in their beautiful cabin category seven suite on a Tauk River cruise next to someone who got it as a buy one, get one free or 50% off or some sort of special deal. So that value of a Tauk River cruise remains exactly the same. And at the back end, the value of that trip is so much more than what people paid. It is the priceless memories. It's the ability to relax and enjoy the many pleasures of traveling in good company. So there's lots of grounds to cover, but I just wanna make sure that you know, since 1992, when we decided to dip our waters, dip our toes into the waters of Europe for the first time, and we did that here on the Blue Danube, cruising toward Regensburg on the Switzerland too. I have such fond memories of these wonderful days, um, the very early days of Tauk River cruising. And then in the 2000s, right around 2005, 2006, we got serious about building our fleet and bringing what we, you know, what we do best, which is this gorgeous land expertise. So Tauk is an escorted touring company for luxury clientele who are seeking a culturally enriching, transformative travel experience where they can put on their Tevas and zip up their Patagonia and go off with the most informed guides. And sometimes there's a Michelin restaurant, but sometimes it's about just sitting on the bank of the river with a picnic box after you've cycled through the Vakau Valley, knowing that Tauk has seamlessly coordinated all of these elements so that there's a little village followed by a big city. There's a Michelin event followed by, you know, a whole day of cruising in the sun, just soaking in the ambiance and allowing your body and mind to relax so that every day that you can take in the very best. So that's what we've been doing since 1923. I mean, sorry, 1925 um, with our land programs and, and since 1992 with river cruising. We have been so privileged to be the recipient of many, many awards from major publications, Travel and Leisure, Condé Nast, um, all of the big consortias of the world. And lately in 2017, we were given another. Cruise Critic chose us in all of their editor's picks as the number one luxury line. And while we are flattered and honored to receive that award, we don't promote ourselves as a luxury river cruise company or a luxury um, escorted touring company. And the reason is kind of what I outlined before. You can always count on Tauk to provide beautiful four and five star hotels 
in city centers when that's appropriate. We will take you to the finest dining experiences, but sometimes that fine dining experience isn't a luxury experience. It's sitting out at a local Horinger in, in Austria and tasting the new wine and having a little plate of cheese and meats and freshly baked breads, or it's about walking you know, through the streets of Vernon on a beautiful spring day after you visited, had a private opening at um, Monet's Giverny and then your top directors just decide to treat you to a beautiful um, al fresco glass of wine and some fresh seafood plucked from the North Sea. So we are thrilled to be Cruise Critics' luxury choice for 2017, but please know that it's a calibrated experience and sometimes it's luxury, but sometimes it's truly what we consider the greatest luxury of all, which is just that perfect calibration where you're able to relax and have many elements come together in a seamless experience. And that's what you will get when you choose to entrust us with your clients on a Tauk River Cruise. What makes Tauk River Cruising so memorable? Number one, we are all about the destination. And when you talk about river cruising, what we've done is meld the best of the land through the movement of the water. So we're providing, you know, backstage access to um, sometimes like one of my favorite trips, Musical Magic on the Danube, private tours of opera houses, you know, private openings at incredible uh, um, museums and small chateaus and, and private messias and just wonderful ways to see the world. It's all about the destination. And what we've done is create these beautiful fl f floating five-star hotels with which we deliver it. And then when we are on land and about 40 to 50 percent of our trips begin with a host hotel stay that is a part of that river cruise experience. Some of our itineraries begin and end on the riverboat, but some begin with premium hotels, Ritz-Carlton's, Four Seasons, um, Fairmont properties. So there's wonderful hotel elements as well. By fully guided, we are not just referring to the local guides that are, are the finest that you can have in all the different ports of call, but we have a team of four the cruise director and the three TAUC directors who are with your clients at every step of the way, surprising them, delighting them, introducing them to their favorite bistro, their wonderful little secret um, cafe around the corner in, in ports of call that they've known since childhood. All-inclusive means every transfer, every beverage, every shore excursion, and every gratuity, Wi-Fi, on board the vessels and in the beautiful hotels that we use. All the port charges, fuel charges, any surcharge, it's all bundled up into that posted price that never deviates. And it, what this does is it gives you incredible peace of mind. You don't have to remember much because what's included is everything. And your clients don't have to remember what's included because it's everything. So they'll open their wallets to purchase something in the gift shop or to have their laundry done or to have a spa treatment. And otherwise, the only thing that they'll be doing is buying their CLIA travel agent a gift for sending them on the best experience of their lives, which was a Tauk River cruise. And the riverboats, custom designed where we've thought of every detail to just create this oasis with which we send our guests forth every day. It's a holistic experience. And then body, mind, and spirit, they're ready to explore the very best of the destination. And that's our forte. That's what we do best the destination. So pictured here is one of my favorite. It's Strasbourg, France. Our motor coaches drop us off, just delivering us just from the ship. It's about a 10-minute transfer. And then we set off on foot with our local guides through Petite France toward the beautiful medieval cathedral. Um, and we're just learning about life in France. And this particular part of the Alsace region, which has um, transferred back and forth between the Germanic parts of, of Europe and the French. So influenced by all these different cultures and we bring history, we tell the story and it's always about creating that wonderful moment where the destination plays such a role in the experience that your guests are having. So the ships are really, as I mentioned, the vehicle for delivering the best of land through the movement of the water because some itineraries, some experiences are best, best, you know, 
unfolding by land and by water. So pictured here is the saver. She is one of our 130 meter vessels. We also have 110 meter vessels because what we've done is paired the perfect length ship with the perfect itinerary. So for those long voyages going from the North Sea to the Black Sea, you want greater personal space. 82% of the cabins on our 130 meter vessels are 225 square feet or larger. Now think about what that means when other river cruise companies that tout themselves as luxury, 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 they're going to have suites that begin at 215 square feet. That's not even a standard size cabin with Tauk River Cruising. So 82% of our cabins and suites, 225 square feet or larger for the cabins, 300 square feet for the suites. It's just a wonderful vehicle for delivering not only the finest experience as you're cruising, but then when we pull into these wonderful ports of call, you just emerge from these gorgeous bespoke vessels feeling rested and excited to experience what Tauk has been putting together for low these many years. We are always trying to find ways that we can highlight, you know, hidden places, wonderful venues. And we go to Schloss Eresoven, which is just outside of Cologne, um, and we visit their beautiful palace. And we've been doing this for many years. And we realized that there was another venue located on the property that was a little bit smaller, a little bit more intimate, where we could have a wonderful experience that was farm to table. So on the grounds of this beautiful property, um, just outside of Cologne, now we visit this little private retreat on some of our river cruises on the Rhine, where we invite the chef to come lead us through the gardens, take us into the forest where they've been foraging for nuts and berries and the hunters go out and they, you know, they sometimes hunt the meal that is prepared for us and served that evening. We're talking about organic wines. The entire countryside here um, is just north of where they stop growing wine. So the wines that we'll feature are really from the Moselle River Valley or um, as you're cruising different parts of, of the Rhine River Valley. So it's the Rieslings and it's um, some of those dry red wines. And we're able to bring this whole experience seamlessly together on the grounds of Schloss Eresoven, which is pictured here. This is a film set of a highly sought film set and you could and certainly visit the Schloss if you are traveling through Europe on your own, but after hours, it's closed to the public. And that's when the Tauk motor coaches pull up. We have champagne cocktails in the courtyard. The Count comes down and introduces us to his beautiful family estate. We're given a tour of the private rooms and then we celebrate the wine and the food of this particular part of Germany. We are so excited, new for 2019, to be introducing one of my favorite places, which is the Merritt's House. It's one of those private special museums. It's located in the governmental uh, capital of the Netherlands. So the main capital, which is the real, the, the capital of the Netherlands is Amsterdam. But the government and the, um, the uh, international um, uh, Court of Justice is located in The Hague, and that's also where this beautiful private museum is located. It is home to some of the finest Rembrandts in the world. It is also home to, you know, Vermeer only has 36 um, paintings in existence today, yet he was one of the top Dutch masters. And the girl with the pearl and the view of Delft hang in this beautiful museum, which we visit after hours. You have a private tour of this museum. You can stand in front of the girl with the pearl and, and um, Rembrandt's masterpieces in solitude with just your fellow Tauk travelers. And then we have a wonderful meal. So this is new to Tauk River Cruising going forward and it's the Merritt's house in the Netherlands. We're always looking to incorporate ways to be active with Tauk River Cruising. So we're really excited to have bicycles. So on every one of our itineraries, with just a couple exceptions, we've got 24 itineraries for 2019. There are a couple that we don't have organized bike riding, um, but on most of them, we've got 12 beautiful Dutch bicycles. We're um, ordering bicycles so that, so that we can cycle along the Danube or we can take off along the Rhine and really um, provide our guests many ways to be active. We're also looking for ways 
to visit places when it's not quite so crowded. So we be begin river cruising in April. Now pictured here is one of those top tourist destinations for spring, which is the Kokonoff Garden just outside of Amsterdam. 80 hectares called Europe's most beautiful springtime garden. We spend a whole morning there. Um, we'll begin doing that in just a couple days. It just opened last week. Um, but we're also cruising the beautiful waterways of Paris, whether you're on the Rhone or the Seine. And as you begin in the springtime months, you experience Europe without the crowds. It's the buds are on the trees as you know, you can walk through those beautiful cobbled streets in the Marais in Paris and it's not the summertime crush. So we're always looking for ways to introduce our guests to um, places that might they might see you know, with other companies as a tourist, but when they go with Tauk, they feel like they're truly a part of the fabric of the people that are inhabiting these countries and walking these streets and visiting these gardens. And when we stay in hotels, as I mentioned, they are premier hotels. The Ritz Carlton and, and just down uh, the street here, you can see the Kempinski in Budapest. When we're in Amsterdam, it's the Amstel Hotel and the beautiful Pulitzer Hotel um, and the Sofitel just outside of the Dom area. So wonderful premier hotels. We're at Le Grand Intercontinental in Paris. So uh, wonderful stays for our guests and for your clients. Pictured here, the Principe de Savoy, which is the hotel that we use in Milan. We've got this gorgeous trip that was our number one new trip for 2018, where we begin with three days in Milan. Then we take the high-speed train through the Gotthard Tunnel, past the Alps, and then embarking the ship in Basel and cruising to Amsterdam. So this uh, is is a wonderful itinerary and pictured here you can see the Grand Dame of Milan, the Principe de Savoy. When we are in Berlin for another new trip in 2018, which is anchored by Berlin on one end and Krakow at the other, we stay in Berlin at the Adlon Kempinski, which is just steps from the Brandenburg Gate. So Oh, no way to really immerse yourself in the history of Berlin in any better spot than at the Adlon Kempinski right around the corner from the Brandenburg Gate. So another re really a philosophy with Tauk is that you should be full you should be fully guided with by people who have given their life to you know waking up every day fully informed and so excited to share their passion and knowledge with our guests. So pictured here, members of the Tauk River team. They are full-time employees of Tauk. Uh, pictured here, we've got one of our cruise architects back in the office in Connecticut. We have our um, cruise directors who manage every detail of the experience on board the ship and are coordinating all of those wonderful off-ship excursions and dinners at the Palais Pallavicini and the Lobkowitz Palace and, you know, Fouquet's on the Champs-Élysées and also pictured here the Tauk directors who are giving castle commentary from the sun deck, who are briefing our local guides in the different ports of call so the local guides aren't repeating what our guests heard yesterday or what they'll hear the following day. And when you're visiting places like um, Hungary, and then Bratislava, uh, Slovakia, and then into Vienna, and then into Prague. That was all formerly the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And if you don't have this team briefing the local guides, your clients are hearing a repeat of this history because the Habsburgs ruled this area for 700 years. But our Tauk team takes care of that. And not only do they do that, but they're surprising and delighting and making sure that your guests are comfortable on the walking tours and that they feel safe and that they're well hydrated and they know the pace and mobility of the tour and they're prepared and they've gotten the weather forecast. And I mean, this team really does it all. So I'm really thrilled to have been a part of that. I took this picture. It was one of our bridges trips, which are the multi-generational trips that we offer with Tauk River Cruising. This was in the beautiful French city of Vivier where our local guide picked us up on the ship, um, escorted us into this gorgeous fortified medieval city, and then we participated in a game of petanque, which the Italian call the Italians call bocce, and um, we had a little uh, 
taste of the local liqueur before returning to our ship, but we're always looking for ways to, you know, surprise and delight our guests, whether we're our motor coaches, which have been specially designed for Tauk, motor coaches that can accommodate 56 people, only accommodate between 40 and 46 on a Tauk motor coach. And then, you know, sometimes we're taking those motor coaches from, um, the Rhine to another river, like the Necker River, where we explore Heidelberg. But sometimes, like pictured here, our local guides pick us up right at the ship and walk us into these beautiful small villages and major city centers, sharing their deep love and knowledge of the places that we visit. All-inclusive is another one of our key principles, our philosophy, is that, as I mentioned, if a trip is better because it's catering to a smaller group of people where we have the ability to get to know your name and you walk up to the bar and you order your favorite drink from a bartender who knew it when they saw you embarking and has it ready for you in advance and it's bundled into that one upfront price so you're thirsty but you and you'd love to have that bottle of water but on another riverboat it's going to cost you an extra three euros not on a Tauk River boat. We've stocked your mini bar with, you know, your favorite soft drink and your favorite fruit juice. And you wander into the bar and, and your friends there, you know, have your coffee drink or your fruit smoothie or your Aperol spritz waiting for you. That all-inclusive atmosphere on board just means that you can relax knowing that we've taken care of every detail. You can have all those things. And when you're traveling with your family and the kids want a fruit smoothie, you know, you're never running up an enormous bill on board because the kids are thirsty or they want something fun. It's all included. So it just is a gracious way to travel. We've included incredible, you know, places like the Duché Duzez, which was um, a duchy in France. Now, the nobility, if you were a part of the nobility, that was an incredible honor. And the proximity to the king and, and to be a part of the court meant that your life was really lovely. But to be a duchy, was the highest honor in France that you could receive. And the Duzez family received that in 1527. So pictured here is their medieval fortification castle. We visit after hours. We are given a private tour. Other, you know, other companies, they go with the crowd, but with Tauk, again, it's just an example of the many ways that we are bringing history to life in an exclusive and exceptional way so that our guests always feel special. They are never following a, following a guide carrying a popsicle stick. They're never wearing a name tag. And they're always going to places like the Duché Duzez, feeling like they are, you know, being transported back in time and immersed in history. The custom designed riverboats are the vehicles that we use to deliver that exceptional shore experience. And what I'd like to tell you is there are eight beautiful riverboats that look and feel the same. So when you embark the beautiful MS Joy, um, I am her godmother and uh, can tell you that the ship, every detail from the, the gleaming brass and the crystal chandeliers and the marble floors and the uh, elevator. So right to the, to the right of this picture, that floor to ceiling glass, that's an elevator that goes from the top deck, but not the top deck, no elevator can go to the top deck, but from the top floor of suites all the way down um, to the bottom deck of the ship. These riverboats are custom designed with the comfort and the ease and, and to make sure that your guests feel welcome in an environment that is never overwhelming, but is just gracious and lovely. And, and our guests really do feel like they're um, entering their home away from home and our team on board really makes them feel that way. So whether you are, again, cruising through the parliament or pulling into small little villages like Vernon or docking and walking into a gorgeous city like Bratislava or, you know, taking the U-Bahn into Vienna. Our ships are um, created in conjunction with our dear shipbuilding family and friends, the Reitzma family, to deliver the very finest experience that you can afloat. We took our smaller vessel, so the 110 meter vessels, um, last winter and the winter before, we took two ships every year and gutted them down to the hull. And they reemerged completely reborn, going from carrying 118 guests to never more than 98. So that is the Treasures, the Esprit, the Sapphire, and the Emerald. 
the sapphire and the emerald are the vessels in France, and the treasures in the Esprit are going from the North Sea to the Black Sea on the Rhine, Main, Danube, and on one beautiful little uh, itinerary, the Moselle River in Germany. Pictured here is the lounge where we sing around the piano and where our guests go up to the bar and order their drinks. This is where the Tauk directors um, give their lectures in the evening. We also invite onboard lecturers to come on board. This is where local dance troops come on board, like Hope Sasa outside of Strasbourg, but also um, beautiful classical music as we're cruising, you know, approaching Vienna. Um, we have the Danau Klang come on board. The Danau is the German word for the Danube, and this beautiful classical music troupe comes on board and entertains our guests and gets us really excited for the land of Beethoven and Mozart and Strauss. So this is really um, what I consider the heartbeat of the ship. And as you can see, it's just a very welcoming environment where you know you can have your cup of coffee in the morning, you can come for that final night, nightcap, and every moment in between, make this place and this beautiful space your own. And back at the back of the ship, we've got this wonderful venue called Arthur's. So on all eight of our riverboats, Arthur's is the alternate dining venue. So in the morning, we offer a continental breakfast back here for four hours, and then beginning at 11 in the morning and going until 11 p.m., it's an a la carte international continental menu, um, and you just order what you like. So if you want an order of frites and a glass of wine, have it any time. If you're thirsty and you just want to have a beer and maybe a Bavarian pretzel, not a problem. If you want to have um, a soup and a salad at four in the afternoon and then skip dinner and just go sit on the sun deck and watch the castles go by at, sun at, at, at uh, sunset, not a problem. Arthur's is one of those places where I find people in their robes in the morning having a cappuccino and I can find them puzzling over one of our puzzles late into the into the wee hours of the morning and it's just that wonderful place where we you know we sometimes have wine flights in the evening or we do special tastings or we do glue vine at Christmas time back at Arthur's so it's also one of my very favorite places. So just to reiterate we've got the Compass Rose as our main dining venue downstairs breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And the dinner every night is regional and seasonal and reflects the, cult, the cuisine and the wines of the countries that we are visiting. Um, so that menu kind of changes every evening. Arthur's, pictured here, is the secondary dining venue, and it's a consistent continental menu that's available from 11 a.m. until 11 p.m. Then we also have from uh, 6 to 10 in the morning um, a continental breakfast. But if you get the nibbles and you want something while you're sitting on the sun deck, but you don't really want to go anywhere, you want someone to bring it to you, or you're enjoying a lecture in the lounge and you decide you want a, a fruit plate or cheese and crackers to go with your glass of wine, just wave at one one of our servers or call nine from your cabin where you're sitting there at your French balcony looking at the world go by and we'll deliver it to you from a a la minute menu that's available all day long. So really with Tauk River Cruising, the entire ship is a dining venue, and we've got these two beautiful main dining areas that our guests really love. The Compass Rose, our main dining venue, and truly my favorite spot, Arthur's at the back of the ship. Tauk River Cruising in 2019 has eight gorgeous riverboats, 24 itineraries featuring some really special ones like musical magic on the Danube, springtime in Holland and Belgium, our four wonderful itineraries for families called our Tauk River Bridges Departures, and the two Chris Kindle Market itineraries, one on the Danube and one on the Rhine. And in between all the other wonderfuls that will, under wonderful itineraries that will take you from the North Sea in the spring to the Black Sea, Got wonderful trips from Budapest to, to Bucharest and um, on the Rhone, Sone, and Seine through the country of France. That gives us 200 plus departures throughout the year. So although we don't advertise, we don't spend millions of dollars for that advertising campaign cruising past um, the Parliament building as you're watching Downton Abbey, we take them that money, those millions of dollars, and we put them into the quality of the experience that your clients will have as they cruise on our eight river boats. They have those 24 different itineraries to choose from and those 200 departures throughout the season. We are a significant um, river cruise company for the truly discerning traveler, but unless they book through you, 
um, unless they book through a travel agency or unless they've been golfing with their friends who just took a Tauk River cruise, we're kind of like that little secret sleeper agency that the travel agents and the word of mouth business um, really have made one of the most successful and, and truly um, deserving of all of the accolades for the truly discerning traveler. New for 2019, we've got two terrific departures, the first of which is called Impressions from the Seine. Paris to the beaches of Normandy and then back to Paris. It's an eight, it's an eight day, seven night cruise, sh cruise only, beginning at, meaning it begins and ends on the ship. We're really finding that um, this appeals to a lot of people who are still active in their businesses or they can't be away from home for long or they're going to work with you to take a eight day um, experience on a Tauk River cruise, but then they'd like to, you know, go on an ocean going cruise. And we certainly can offer all of that with Tauk small ship cruising, or they'd like to experience the yellow road, the, the yellow roads of Europe on one of the Tauk land excursions, or, you know, one of the many things that you could put together for them as an FIT experience. So new for 2019, become a local in Paris, walk those cobblestone streets, go for a, um, you know, before hours event, dine on the Champs Elysees, and then begin your cruise up to the D-Day beaches of Normandy, where we really immerse ourselves in that incredible D-Day experience before returning and stopping as our big wow signature sparkling event, which is a trip to Monet's Garden in Giverny um, while the ship is docked in Vernon, and then returning to Versailles. Now pictured here are the Tauk travelers on one of the many beaches of Normandy. Picture this, you know, you've got your guides. They are ready to share, the local guides, ready to share that incredible experience. Then we visit the American Cemetery. It's one of those moving experiences that your clients, as guests of, of Tauk River Cruise, they will carry this with them for the rest of our lives. And that's what we, tr we aspire to, is truly transformative travel experiences that your guests will anticipate as they're looking forward to them. They will savor every moment of it while they're while they're experiencing it with it with us on board the ship and on the beaches of Normandy and then those memories that they've created will live with them for the rest of their lives now a really fun one that my friend Michelle Molnar one of our cruise architects she's the the uh, middle lady on the left side of this beautiful table enjoying um, a pretzel before the sausages and the sauerkraut and the many mugs of beer at Oktoberfest this was her dream. So we celebrate the beer making traditions beginning in Amsterdam and then in Belgium and then cruising into Germany where we start to introduce the wine making traditions of this, these particular regions. Now keep in mind, you can make beer in the very upper regions of the world, but at a certain latitude, it becomes too cold. So right as you hit about Rudesheim, that's where you can start making wonderful sweet wines like those famous uh, wines of the Moselle River Valley in, in Germany and the ice wine that they also are so famous for. And then you cruise further down and you can start making drier wines. But autumn along the Rhine is so exciting. These trips begin in September and they go into the first weeks of October because those, that's the period where you can not only celebrate all these terrific wine um, traditions in the Netherlands and in Belgium and Germany, but you can take a side trip that's now incorporated into a Tauk River cruise and experience Munich Oktoberfest. So picture yourself at the very best private, privately held tables under the big tent um, in Munich celebrating with thousands of other people this once in a lifetime, once a year experience, which is Oktoberfest. For, so that's now incorporated into our 24 departures for 2019. Some of my favorite experiences have been with my family on Tauk Bridges. And on Tauk Bridges River, you embark the ship, you unpack the bag once. If those kids are addicted to their Apple devices and their, you know, their smart devices, like we all know, we see them, you know, that you can't tear the kids away from all of the texting and the emailing and the Twitter. Our TDs say, hey guys, guess what? It's a, it's a device free zone for the next four hours. And without a peep, they put them down and they allow us to just share the very best multicultural, uh, multi-generational experience because we've got a team that has been so selected um, from our 
cruise directors and TAUC directors to appeal to grandparents and then that middle generation and then that ch child generation, multicultural, multi-generational enjoyment on the four rivers. The Blue Danube is the one that started it all for us. Castles on the Rhine, which takes you from Basel to Amsterdam. Bon Voyage, French, French family river cruise that begins in Paris. And then we take the high speed train and embark the ship in Lyon and cruise the beautiful Rhone River. And then Family Fun along the Seine, which when we introduced it was the fastest selling Tauk Bridges um, itinerary of them all, Paris to Normandy. And this one, um, you know, to share those beaches of Normandy with the kids is truly a, a most memorable experience. So they're all eight day itineraries, seven nights on board the ship, and we offer these in June and July. It's not too late for some really terrific itineraries. One of my favorites and the one that started it all for me as a cruise director, Amsterdam to Budapest. This is the number one best-selling trip for the international market. So if you've got clients that are interested in traveling with people from Australia and New Zealand and the UK and Canada, this is a wonderful itinerary. It begins in Amsterdam, it ends in Budapest, it spends seven days cruising through Bavaria on this precious little mine river, but you go past Frankfurt and then, you know, it's like a ribbon that takes you to Nuremberg, Bamberg, Rotenburg, um, Wertheim. It's just a really lovely itinerary. So great space available still in little pockets for 2018. And then, you know, people think that September is this top, top, top season to be river cruising. And it certainly is. It's the number one best-selling month. Um, we can ask the highest prices. Every river cruise line will uh, demand the highest prices because September is the month that's the most in demand. My favorite month, having cruised these beautiful waterways for those 10 years and now in sales for the years that I've been promoting river cruising, my favorite month is October. And we've got terrific itineraries that are still have some wonderful, even cabin category sevens and talc cells from the top down. So cabin category seven is still available in some terrific itineraries, even our top seller, the Blue Danube. And our second top best-selling Blue Danube um, itinerary, Danube Reflections, which begins in Vienna with more time in Austria. So lots of great space. Um, in little pockets available for October for 2018. Um, as you go forward, for those of you who are new, please reach out right now because that top space for cabin category sevens and cabin category sixes and fives and fours, we sell from the top down going all the way to cabin category one, which is 150 square feet, but we offer that Every single departure, cabin category ones are available to anybody with no single supplement. So our solo travelers love us because they can have that cabin and not have to pay um, that surcharge for being a solo person in a double occupancy cabin. So that was a little bit of an aside, but I just wanted to bring that up as I was addressing 2018. There's space available, but please reach out for 2019 because those cabin categories seven, sixes, fives will go really fast for September and um, May and those springtime departures for Holland and Belgium. So keep in mind. Um, 2019, we just started offering departures with price for 2019 for Chris Kindle Markets. So for the very first time, these were incorporated when we went live with price in February online. So we've got terrific Chris Kindle Market departures. There's nothing like being in Germany and Austria and Hungary and France um, during Christmas um, and and just immersing yourselves in all these little booths and the glue vine and the, the very special ambiance that you can't get anywhere else than Chris Kindle markets on the Danube and the Rhine. And 2018 is available for sale, great space available for that, but also 2019. I just wanna give a special plug to Ober Amergau. It only happens every 10 years years and the people who live in the village of Oberammergau are already you know the gentlemen are growing their beards um, the ladies are practicing their lines the babies are being recruited to you know to be the children who in 2000 
you know, the children that being, the babies being born now will be the toddlers that are involved in this play for 2019. And we have some space. We have hit the 2000 person mark already for space that we're holding for the 2020 departures. Um, so there are some land itineraries that are associated with uh, Oberammergau 2020, but on river cruising, we are holding space. So you can begin or end your Blue Danube, Danube Reflections and Romantic Rhine river cruise with Oberammergau and the Passion Play. So very excited about that. Once every 10 years, if you are involved in your church, if you are involved in um, in a choir, if you know anybody who loves um, really, you know, just to immerse themselves in this once in a lifetime for some people experience, uh, it'll happen again in 2020. And there are three river cruise itineraries where there's that opportunity. Danube uh, Reflections, Blue Danube, and the Romantic Rhine. For you, to become a specialist, we have an online training program. So please visit us at www.talc.com and click to enroll in online training. It will immerse you in all of the different ways that you can become even more knowledgeable in all of our brands. Because once you sell a Talc River Cruise, as opposed to almost everyone else in the industry, and your clients come back and say, just like, 56% of the people traveling with us today are past patrons. And that'll happen for you once you sell a Tauk departure. It's like selling an annuity if you were selling insurance because those people will be so excited. They'll come back and they'll bring 30% new business. 97% of the people who come back from Tauk tours will give us a, a, an exceptional review and they'll say they want to travel with us again. So become even more knowledgeable so that you can offer the world to your clients and you can do this by becoming a Tauk specialist online. You can generate trip planners which are beautiful documents. You visit us online, you select your itinerary, you click on that blue button generate a trip planner and up it will pop and you click on the little button that says I'm a travel agent and then it, we will ask you for some information and within five minutes once you click send this beautiful document outlining in, in detail the ships that are involved in particular departures the hotels that are involved that have been hand chosen the choices that your clients will be able to make going forward because in 2018 we decided to offer even more choice so if you've got food lovers if you've got people who are wine lovers art lovers they want to immerse themselves in the culture they want to go to the museum biking all kinds of choices and these are all things that will be outlined in these trip planners that you can share with your clients i challenge you to sit down and generate five trip planners and send them to your clients that you know are interested in river cruising and then invite them to sit down with you and discover the many ways that they can explore the world with talc not just river cruising but we offer all seven continents the tools for success are available at your fingertips, and they also involve in, include ordering brochures. We've got brochures for first-time river cruisers. We've got brochures that will help you become more knowledgeable, selling river, selling small ship, and just, you know, all of the wonderful brochures that we will be introducing throughout the year. The very first 2019 brochures that will begin hitting mailboxes um, in April are Tauk River and Tauk Small Ship Cruising. Day of webinar special, we're happy to offer to you for attending today, within 30 days of this webinar, a complimentary room night at the beginning or end of any 2018 or 2019 Tauk River Cruise. So please take advantage of this. When we're talking about the Savoy Hotel in London or the Four Seasons Hotel in Budapest, this can be an 800 to one thousand dollar benefit and it's available to you to offer your clients if they book within 30 days of this webinar key dates to remember we went live with price for river cruising in february and we'd like to invite you on april 19th to join us for a deep dive so a deeper dive with our cruise architects my dear friends michelle and sarah will take you through day-by-day -day descriptions of the two new itineraries that I outlined earlier, that beautiful um, Seine River cruise to the beaches of Normandy and back, and Michelle will talk about her, 
her dream trip that was her baby, um, the Rhine River trips that will culminate in a trip in an inclusion of Oberammergau. How you see the world matters. I'm now going to return um, the mic to Charlie and invite any of you to uh, to share your questions and, and to make myself available to answer them for you in the next 10 minutes or so. Well, Mary, before we go to the audience's questions, I, 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 I have a question in my head. I don't know what river cruise to book first. Oh, that's so good to hear. I, I have to thank you, Mary. That presentation was absolutely phenomenal. And, uh, um, I, you know, we have several questions. Um, Anna Sauer is here, uh, who is our industry relations specialist here in Washington, D.C. at CLIA Global Headquarters. Anna, what questions do we have for Mary? We have a lot of questions coming in, but before we get to those, can you just repeat really quickly the website for travel agents to sign up? Yes, hopefully it's easy to remember. It's just www.tauck.com. And then at the bottom, I mean, we're redeveloping our website. I didn't even have a chance to mention that. What you see now is the old website, but in the months to come, we will have the most beautiful, user-friendly, gorgeous website. And incorporated in both of those, the one that exists now and the one for the future by visiting us at www.tauk.com, there is an agent section. And right now it's located at the bottom. And that's where you can register to um, become a Tauk certified agent by taking our online classes and order those brochures and generate trip planners. Great, thank you. And then moving on into all the rest of the questions, we have a question from Chuck, who is breaking into river cruising after focusing on large ocean cruises for seven years. And he's wondering, what are some of the common characteristics of your most successful agents and what do they do right? That's such a good question. And you know, Chuck, and for all of you who are thinking exactly the same thing, um, I think number one, it's you can't be discouraged. You have to utilize all of the tools that are available to you, and think of think of ways out of the box. You know, if you're look if you're thinking about um, luxury, you know, try to align yourself with a luxury brand. You know, maybe a luggage goods store that's selling um, luxury luggage good products, and say, hey, can I come in and do a presentation to your clients? And and you know. Um, con get, get in contact with us and we can do a webinar for you and then you'll have that complimentary room night to use as a teaser and generate, you know, think about the people at your kids' schools, at your local clubs, at all of the ways that you are active in your industry and in your, in your um, communities and generate those trip planners that we've made so easy and available for you and, and then invite people to come in and review the five with you or make an appointment to call them. But um, just know everyone at Tauk is invested in your success and we want to be the best partner. We want to give you answers. We want to provide really clean information and, and, and a part of that too is having our trips bundled into that one upfront price that is so easy for you to remember. It's easy for your clients to remember. Always also know that we have protected your commission. So never will we say, oh yeah, it's a full price that's $8,000 for a, a Tauk River cruise. And then a month later you find out it's slashed to 50% of that and you're going to receive a commission on a $4,000 trip. That will never happen with Tauk. So that was kind of a long answer. I hope it was sufficient and continue, you know, please note that you can continue to send um, emails to Anna and and she can forward them to me and I continue to answer questions um, in the days and months to come. Yeah, that's great. It sounds like there's a lot of really great resources for everyone to use. Our next question is from Naomi. Um, she's wondering what the dress code is for Tau River ships. Hey, Naomi. That's a wonderful question. Um, you know, we like to say you know, flip-flops and sweatshirts up on the sun deck and um, we've got people who were bankers and they come on board and they say, I wore a suit every day. I'm never going to do it again. And you know what? You don't have to. So um, an easy thing to share with your clients is to say country club casual or resort casual. Consider the ports of call that you'll be visiting. If it's a trip to the Black Sea in, you know, the hotter months of the year, 
make sure they know to bring their shorts and t-shirts and you know if you're doing that blue danube trip that is major beautiful european centers of culture and music and you're going to be going to the palais palavicini and the lobkowitz palace yes bring a pretty dress gentlemen bring a jacket we're not going to turn anyone away if they don't bring those things jeans would not be appropriate for something like that but um we always say you know use your best judgment there is no set quote unquote dress code you can leave your tiaras and ballrooms and ball gowns and tuxedos at home um but a safe guideline you know is chinos and golf shirts and shorts during the day and ladies the same and then in the evening a nice skirt and a pashmina and gentlemen a jacket and a nice pair of pants with an open you know open you don't have to bring a tie but that that'll take you anywhere perfect that was so specific um our next question is from joe and he's wondering how far in advance most talc guests typically book Hey, Joe, that's a wonderful question. So back when we had a fleet of four riverboats um, up until 2014, I would say right now you needed to be reaching out to contact all of your clients and booking their 2019 because the most discerning clients will be doing that. And certainly and this is some um, this is something um, to educate for those of you who have had ocean going clients who are used to booking, you know, vessels that have six thousand people and 3,000 berths, our largest vessel has 64 cabins. So you do want to be thinking about booking 8 to 12 months in advance, but for those high demand departures, reach out right now for September of 2019. But if you've got someone who contacts you right now and says, gosh, do you have anything this summer? We do. We've got space on Amsterdam to Budapest. We've got wonderful October space, even on Danube. So call our reservation department. We have some of the most highly trained reservation agents in the industry, and they can immediately pinpoint cabin category sevens. And, you know, let's say you've got a discerning guest who says, I only want to, but I want to go this summer. Call us. And, and we can help you find that. And you can also visit us online. We have, um, on every departure, it'll show you, you know, where there's limited inventory, where there's great inventory, and when a trip is sold out. Okay, great. Our next question is from Josie Ann, um, who has a client that has a mobility issue, and she's wondering if it's easy to get off the ship while in port, or if you might have to go through some other ship. Such a good question. So, with European river cruising, it's the international law that when you're on the Danube or the Rhine, and I think also on the, the rivers in France, it's something called rafting, where the ships dock next to each other. And sometimes, and this happens a lot on the Danube when you get an older ship, the, um, the reception areas don't match. You might have a ship that's only two decks next to ours that has three floors of, of staterooms. So you have to go up and over. What I always say, and what is the talc policy is that if you are confined to a wheelchair, even if some other river cruise companies will allow you to be on a river cruise, we don't think you should be. It's not safe to have to go up and over. And if the weather's inclement or if there's high water on any of these rivers, all of a sudden that gangway, where which is just, you know, you're holding onto rope and it's very narrow, that can be incredibly steep. So it's our policy that if you're confined to a wheelchair, we we recommend other finding other um, ways to see the world other than a river cruise. Um, and then anybody you know who has a collapsible wheelchair and they're traveling with someone who can push them over those cobblestones, please continue to choose to travel with Tauk. We respect everybody's does that intrepid travel spirit, and we'll do our best to accommodate all different um, levels of mobility and with our walking tours and our shore excursions we always have what's called a leisure group that moves at a slower pace and that's always indicated online and on our in all of our brochures um, on every one of our trips whether it's river cruising or small ship or our land departures there is a pace and mobility scale associated with every one of our departures on any talc tour Okay, great. And we're just going to do one more question because we're nearing that one hour mark. Um, the last one is from Vera. Um, she's very new to river cruising. She's never been on one and she's wondering what the amount of time spent on the boat is versus time off of the ship. 
Hey, Vera, such a good question. So what we do is we, um, when we're in ports of call, we really try to highlight um, and to give people not only time for their escorted tours and to choose whichever escorted tours they want, but for that independent exploration. The Tauk Traveler, you know, is really somebody who's used to a great deal of independence, um, but they also, you know, like us to handle all the details, so it's a good mix. And we also want to make sure that there's daytime cruising because to come to Europe and take a river cruise and then never be able to see the vineyards and the castles and all this beauty while sitting on the sun deck with a drink in your hand would be a shame. So I would say we're usually docked in ports of call overnight about 40% of the time, and then we'll be cruising at night about 60% of the time. Different itineraries call, you know, when you think about those 24 different itineraries, different itineraries will have a different ratio of evenings in town and days that we're cruising. But what I want you to know is we really spend an, an enormous amount of time calibrating each trip so that we're highlighting the very best of the ports of call while also um, incorporating wonderful daylight cruising time. I hope that that was a sufficient answer because it really is on every departure. Um, it's a different calibration depending on, on how we're trying to tell that story. Well, Mary, this is Charlie, and I just want to say thank you once again for the wonderful presentation and for the terrific Q&A session that we just had. Um, ladies and gentlemen, the recording of this webinar will be posted on the CLIA Global YouTube channel. So just go to youtube.com and look for CLIA Global. It's all one word, that's our handle. And you'll be able to see this webinar recording uh, probably within the hour or so. So um, Mary, thank you once again. Any parting words for our agents out there? Oh gosh, you know, Charlie, um, my parting words are that for those of you who are new to the industry, you have chosen well. And partnering with, number one, becoming a travel agent will be so rewarding. And if it's difficult at the beginning, don't give up and find a very seasoned travel agent who's already been through it and ask them to show you the ropes. But take advantage of all the wonderful opportunities that being a member of CLIA is going to provide you. And certainly, you know, come and visit us at our booth at Cruise 360 and continue to, you know, participate in the many ways that Tauk and all of the other um, really fine companies will help you become experts because, you know, the, the people who are traveling now are looking for you to be their consigliere and to be their guide. And that's why, you know, travel experts like yourselves are going to have continue to see a renaissance no matter what, you know, those online booking sites provide. You're the one that can provide something that, that no one else can duplicate. So we're just really thrilled to be um, a partner with CLIA and, and to have had this time with you today. Well, thanks, Mary, and thanks again, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, Charlie. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.